motherfucker is. This is Philip motherfucking Rivers. The one and the only, right? Alright, so anyway. Got my Ravens ticket. Regular season, baby. It is the my Baltimore Ravens and those Cleveland Clowns. Week number three, September 27th, 1 o'clock. You know, a whole bunch of Ravens rain gang members are coming down to that game. We're going to tailgate. And I wanted to get a ticket, so I went and got myself a ticket. Actually, my boy Jeffro got it for me. Uh, so it is a 1 o'clock game. Got Mr. Terrell Suggs on the front of it. And just in case you want to know, just in case you want to know, you know, uh, come on down, have a good old time. Just don't fuck, come and shoot me. I'm section 141, road 32, seat 17. Easy as that, right? Probably not going to be sitting with any of them, but I'm still close enough. Well, hopefully we can get together, have a little tailgating party, you know? Rep on boys in blue today. Actually, my boys in white, U.S. Navy. Got a couple members of the family that are in the Navy, were in the Navy, served in WW2, and peacetime and whatnot. So I'm proud to wear my colors. I'm proud of supporting my soldiers, defending our freedom. You know, I'm all for peace. But these motherfuckers walking around here with these peace signs, peace this and peace that, and disrespecting our fucking soldiers, these motherfuckers deserve to burn in hell. That's all I can say. You disrespect a soldier in front of me, you're asking for trouble. That's how it is. That's lurk worse than this motherfucker. Right? You, you disrespect a soldier, it's worse than this motherfucker right here walking into Denver in his fucking number 17 Chargers jersey. He get his ass whipped. That's what's going to happen if somebody walks up to me and says, fuck the American soldiers. That's some crazy shit right there. Not a threat, but that's some crazy shit. So anyway, got my ticket. My boy Jeffro uh, turned 19. I don't know if there's personal information out there, but he turned 19. Happy birthday to him today. Uh, well, yesterday, whatever fucking time his video is up. If it's, if it's Tuesday and yesterday, if it's Monday, then today. So his brother bought him these tickets. He went and gave me one. He's got seats 18. I got seats 17. So I'm happy about that. So let's talk a little bit about the Ravens. You know, everybody a little concerned about some more role. Uh, he gonna be he gonna be fine. He you know he's gonna get his neck looked at. His neck worked on a little bit. Uh, got that little injury. You know it's not a little injury. It's a major injury, but he's gonna be worked on. He's gonna be out for six weeks. But everybody's saying you know, this might be the last time we see Roll back in a jersey number two two. You know, but I can guarantee you it's not. This man's gonna be back and healthy in the words and the eyes of John Harbaugh. He's gonna be back and healthy. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Ray Lewis, you know he's fine now. Everybody got a little scared. Uh, stretched his elbow a little bit. Uh, I think pulled it out of place or something, but he's fine. He's practicing. Everything's good. The scary injury, though, because, you know, if that man would have got hurt, we all would have been in trouble. Terrell Suggs is back, though. The, the $65 million man or whatever, 68, whatever the fuck he got. I forgot. But he's back. Back on the fucking practice field, ready for those Falcons, you know? So uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, Ravens cut a few people today. Nobody really important. Uh, they did cut Drew Willie. They signed him last week. They cut him this week, you know? Uh, major cuts are coming down. Uh, the 53-man roster is to be done by, by the 5th of September, I believe. And, you know, this Falcons game, everybody thinks the, the last game is the most important game in the preseason. It's really not. The first game is a warm-up. The last game is a, a warm-up, if you want to call it that. The second and third, in my opinion, are the two main games, especially the third. And we played our ass off the third. We didn't fucking win by a lot. We played our ass off in Carolina. We didn't go up against, you know, we didn't go up against DW. All right? We didn't go up against Stewart. But you know what? We still won the game. John Fox fucking pushed us to our limit. We still won the game. That's all I'm happy about, right? So the fourth game is kind of like a kind of like a everybody get ready for the regular season, and I'm ready for the regular season. Them Chiefs are coming to town. I was hoping to get a Chiefs ticket, but they're too fucking expensive, and I'm not sitting way at the top. I, I look, I'm not like a fucking I'm not a jealous motherfucker. I'm not a stingy. If I don't have my way, I'm not gonna do it. Kind of, I need it. the best seats in the house. But I'm not sitting in section 506 or something at the very top of the stadium where I need to bring binoculars and can't take pictures. It doesn't work like that for me. So my boy got it. And the only two other games I'll probably be going to in the Ravens Stadium is going to be the Lions and possibly, possibly the Bears. I'm not making the Steelers games this year. I will make one in Pennsylvania, but I won't make them one in Baltimore, unfortunately. I'm going to have to go undercover when I go into Steelers country. If I walk in the Steelers country with a Ray Lewis jersey on, I'm going to get my ass beat. I'm going to get thrown off Heinz Field. I'm going to get thrown off the fucking balcony onto the fucking Allegheny River. That's how bad it's going to be. They're going to take me up Mount Washington and throw me off into the river. That's how, that's how they all do in Pittsburgh. That's crazy shit. Um, so anyway, you know, this is kind of a relaxed game. We're now 3-0. I'm happy. You know, uh, it's something exciting. It's something to be excited about. You know, we're we going to see how the season works out for the Ravens. You know, my concerns right now, cornerback, you know, Foxworth doing a great job, but for right now, my, my, my concern is cornerback. We could lose a little bit, de a little deeper positioning at tight end, but I still love Todd Heat. Man, look crazy. Look crazy. 
Saturday night, you know? Saturday night football, you know, ESP, not ESPN, but WBL. <laughs> I would say ESPN. Uh, speaking of ESPN, Brett Ford looking kind of good in, in his second debut with the Vikings. Looking a little bit better than he did last week. Uh, also, I don't know if they won that game. They were 17-10 against Houston last time I checked, but we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, speaking of the Ravens, let's get off of Brett Favre. Speaking of the Ravens, um, I, you, know, you don't need a marks, man. I like the girl. She's, she's a wonderful, sweet, fucking amazing-looking, great-looking chick. But the girl made a comment I didn't like today. She even said that Mark Clayton and Demetrius Williams are probably our two main go-to guys this year. You know, versus Derek Mason. And I'm looking at her it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mark Clayton and Demetrius Williams are main number two guys. <laughs> no. Look at Kelly Washington. Look how he played. All right, this man might not be putting up big numbers like Randy Moss or Fitzgerald or Bolden or Marshall. or putting up great numbers for the Ravens. And I think this guy's going to be good for Baltimore. I think he's going to be excellent for Baltimore. Not only that, the man got deep coverage. With Derek Mason, number five, and number five, we're good. We're good. We're set on receiver. Ray Rice looking good, too, getting some receptions there. He's looking nice. I think our main calls right now is cornerback. I think that's the only thing I got to say. You might disagree with me. I think Foxworth's a good guy, but I think it's going to work a little bit. We need a little bit of work. Also, I think maybe even bringing in another tackle might help us a little bit. That's just my opinion. That's where I think the Ravens need the most improvement right now. My whole focus was wide receiver. I told us all these preseason games. And it depends how the Ravens work. If they work really good in the preseason with these receivers, and, you know, obviously up to the start of the regular season, hey, I'm looking forward to this season. But if they don't, and they put in a Demetrius Williams or Mark Clayton, I'm not comfortable with these guys. So I will wait and say. Also, one more comment, the kicking game. Bring Matt Silver back. You know, Steve, Ho Steve Hoska is right now the main go-to leading competition kicker guy. Gano kind of out of the picture right now. But when you miss a field goal that close, I don't care how how fucking much of a weak kicker you are. When you miss a field goal that fucking close, and I don't care how many people might disagree with me, you don't deserve to be in the NFL. Our mistakes are mistakes, but still, you don't deserve to be on the Ravens. But I can give the boy credit. He's a great kicker. You know, he don't he, he doesn't have the numbers like Matt Silver at all. But he's going to need to work on You know, when Matt Silver came to the league, I'm pretty sure Matt Silver wasn't hitting him like that, too. So I, I got to lay off the boy a little bit. But I still feel comfortable with bringing Matt Silver back. I would feel a lot more comfortable with bringing Matt Silver back. That's how I feel. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Falcons uh, Wednesday night. Put a little pregame show up. A little trash talk. The yeah, Alcon 37, bitch. Your Falcons are going down. That's all I can say. I don't care if it's prison. Your Falcons are going fucking down. You can take Matt Ron and shove him in a fucking taco and eat his fucking ace. Because that's how it's going to be. See you later, brothers.